Hello, everybody. My name is Mike Williams. I'm the author of Doing to Done, Productivity Made Simple, and we have set up a Todoist template just for you. And before we get into the specifics of the template, let me give you the backstory of how and why we set it up the way that we did. And I want to bring you back to the origin story that's in the book, where I was at a dinner with my wife, and we were having a beautiful, or what was supposed to be a beautiful dinner, and I was so overwhelmed, I couldn't pay attention to my wife. And I blew it on a romantic date night. And what was happening there was I had overwhelm going on. I had recently got promoted at work. My father-in-law and mother-in-law just moved in with us because my father-in-law had a blood cancer disease he was getting treated for. My young kids were eight and four, busy in school, busy in rec sports, and I was coaching some of those rec sports. Life was busy. So we had big overwhelm, we had little overwhelm, there was just a lot going on. And in doing to done, what we do is we call that the party in the brain, where we have all these ideas, needs, thoughts, things that are going on in our brain. And sometimes it can get so loud that it's hard for us to think clearly, it might be hard for us to sleep at night. So the idea here is we have all these thoughts, but we are not all these thoughts. And that means we need to figure out a way to handle them. And the best way to do that is to say the party's over to the party in the brain and walk each thought out of our brain one at a time, name them, claim them, and write them down so that we can get to a calmer brain, one that is present and is aware and is ready for anything that life throws at it because it knows how to handle it. That's what doing to done specializes in turning chaos into clarity. Well, how do we do that? There is a doing to done map that's in the, temp, uh, the template that helps you download the thoughts that are on your mind on one side of the page, like you see here. And then on the other side of the page, what we're trying to do is turn it into doing and done statements. So how you do that is you bring your focus on one item and then you ask some strategic questions is that item something you want to take action on? If yes, what's doing look like and what's done look like? And we write those in very specific forms called a doing statement and a done statement. And the book goes into that in more detail, but you can see the examples here. You've got a good action verb and a good done verb. That is the hallmark of a good doing and done statement. Now, if we clear this whole list off, you start to see more clearly what those things actually represented. And the real deal here with this system is on the doing column, you have clear line of sight because we've identified one next action that you need to take to move something forward. And when you identify one next action, you break through procrastination, you break through resistance, you break through overthinking. The minimum requirement is one. So that's what we encourage. And then the other thing about that list is each of those items has an origin story. Where did it come from? Well, it's coming from some kind of role that you hold in your life. So if I were to double click on you, I would see that there's a bunch of mini heroes that make up the whole you. You've got to take care of yourself. You've got to, maybe your son or daughter, maybe your spouse or a partner, maybe you're a member of a family, certainly work and other roles that can exist that make up the unique you that you're trying to express in this world. So doing to done does a great job of downloading, uncoding and recoding you so you can see it all. Now let's take that backstory and now apply it to the doing to done template. So the first thing to notice here is you've got a step by step guide that's built into the template up front. So it keeps the core idea front and center, which is to keep things simple. And the idea that we expressed in the backstory is it's a role project action based system. And the other thing here is why this is so effective, because once you get roles, projects and actions set up, it's really easy for your brain to understand the game. So your brain loves categories. It's kind of like forks, knives, and spoons. You're never confused on where to put them because they each have their categories. Same here. We're using the same principle to help your brain. And then at the bottom here, you've got additional links that you can explore 
and select the things that might be appropriate for you. But certainly, there is the Doing to Done map that you can download that I showed in the backstory. Now let's go over the template in a little more detail. So you will notice that there are roles set up here. So I want you to imagine that you are a busy working professional that's also a parent and has a lot going on in life. So you have to take care of yourself. There's a me role there. There's a partner parent role as well. There are family and friends role. There's a community role. You're, perhaps you're volunteering. Maybe you have a side hustle. This person has a side hustle. Plus they're an employee at their company. So they're an employee, they're a sales manager, and they, they are customer facing professional with those kinds of activities going on here. So that's the role level. Let's go down to the project level. If we hit the arrows here, that reveals the projects that they're holding in each of these roles. Oh, on the me side, they, they chip their tooth and they need to get it fixed. So chip tooth repaired is a project. It looks like they're doing some kind of swim. If I go down to the partner parent role, you'll see they have a 10th wedding anniversary coming up. Oh, they need to create a will or trust for their family. Oh, a car engine light just came on. Oh, I got to fix that. Who, you know, summer camp stuff for the kids just came up. Oh, goodness. And then if we go down to their professional roles, you'll see that from, say, a, a key account development standpoint, they need to update a strategic plan for Amazon. They need to create a plan for a new account called General Electric. And as a sales manager, looks like they need to do their Q3 account review and um, work on that. So that it takes us from role to project. So now let's go down and see what the action level looks like. So on the chip tooth repaired, you can see we have a clear next action, one next action. And with the 10th wedding anniversary, yes, one next action. I need to book a plane reservation for Paris. Uh, uh, car engine, what's the next action? Tech Nick, uh, text Nick for the information. So it's very clear, one next action. Notice there's no confusion on what needs to be done to create momentum for this project. Let's bring it down to our professional roles. So the strategic plan for Amazon, what's needed there? Oh, I need to schedule a meeting with Ken at Amazon. So that's one next action. And then the strategic plan for GE, oh, they need to input information gathered from a meeting into a template that their company uses. Hmm, might sound familiar to you if you do that kind of work. So each of these has one next action to create momentum. Many times when I'm coaching people, I'm walking them back from really detailed, complex systems that they created for themselves that have so much overhead that they're resisting the system now. So I can tell you, doing to done productivity made simple, this system is highly robust, it's highly sophisticated because the simplicity allows you to create momentum in all areas of your life. And the other thing it allows us to do is focus and unfocus on certain things that we want to focus on so we don't have to see the whole of the system. So if you just want to focus on your sales manager role, you can look at that and get a simplified view. Now there is a special uh, project here called single action. So let's say you just want to call mom and say hi. You don't necessarily need a full project for that. So we create a special project called single actions to handle things like that. And then lastly, the thing that you do to keep this system current is once a week, you do this weekly review. And in doing to done, it has three steps, review, reflect, and reset your system. And that whole review has been outlined for you here in the weekly review segment, so you know exactly what to do. So with that, I hope you enjoy the doing to done setup that we've created for you in Todoist. And I look forward to connecting further on up the road. Until then, wishing you the best in all that you do.